Hey, look, they told me, right? Excuse me. They said they, they said you trained three horses, made a million dollars. Now you're selling carrots. How true is that story? So I made four million dollars. You made four over million. million. <laughs> over four million. One of my own made seven hundred thousand. Wow. And I do this just to keep in the loop. Can you can you can you tell me your connection to horse racing? I won two sovereign awards. Yeah. I raced at Churchill Downs. I just got beat ahead by Jerry Bailey and George Steinbrenner and Bill, Bill Mott, wow. who were the A team at that time, wow. with a horse named Terramoto. And then um, the rest of the, he was outside. My best year was in 207, and I made about 500,000 for myself in one year. <laughs> and you know, right? Who was a mentor for you? Really, it was probably Fred Loschke. Yeah. He um, he had his own horses. He bred his own horses. He trained them, and he had sovereign award winners and many many stake winners. Yeah. And uh, I worked for Stronic back then. That's how I met him. Yeah. And then I went out on my own in 1985. And what kind of guy was running? He's a businessman, yeah. for sure. Back then he was 47 years old, very good looking, yeah. and uh, just starting off on his plane to in, in uh, famous, you know, he went on to be the leading world's leading breeder for a couple of years. Yeah and owner yeah. so when i started with him we had gloria song she was two yeah. and then he sold half of her for a million dollars to nelson nelson bunker hunt yeah. and uh the rest is history and, and, and you know right how important is the men and women that take care of these horses every day the oh it's a, this industry. is it's very important it's time consuming and you have to love it yeah. okay and do um have to uh, uh, dedicate yourself to it. It's not something that you can take days sick off just on a whim or anything like that. You have to be here all the time and know the animals. And to be able to be successful, I never had a day off for the 35 years I was here. So the only time off was in the winter where I had 17 horses at home by myself and was taking care of them. And I would come here for a break because I would have to hire people down here to help me. And you know, right, who goes down in your lifetime as the best trainer? You think? As the best trainer? Yeah. At Woodbine or in the world? In the world for you, somebody you admire. I think it would have to be Bill Mott, okay? He's, um, back when I was training, he was the man. Yeah. So, I think uh, to, to just get beat by him by a head was something that doesn't happen every day, you know? And, and, and you know, what's the difference between a horse trainer and a horseman or a horsewoman? Well... Because a lot of people label Bill Mott a horseman. Yeah, he's an ultimate horseman. Yeah. He's a... He, uh, I, I don't know, they, they have to be able to get inside a horse's head and to be able to recognize. I, I can never say that I've heard anything about him being inhumane with a horse or anything like that, but there's lots of other trainers that I've seen it myself, okay? But Bill Mott, I wasn't around him a lot, but I really admired what he was doing and the kinship he had with Jerry Bailey and George Steinbrenner. Yeah. And they did really well together. And you know, what's your business today? My business today is I'm back working for Stronic, uh, night watch watching the broodmares. And I have my own farm where I have uh, nine horses at the farm. Yeah. All my retired race horses. If they were good to me, they get to live with me for the rest of their life. Wow. So yeah. they're all getting 20, 23, 24 years old. So. Oh, it's, it's an old age home for racehorses. And people like you <laughs> is people who I wake up to talk to because you, you got a beautiful spirit. Oh, okay, thanks. And uh, what's your name? Beverly Buck.